First time I had my feet dipped in when I was three months old, and I've done it every year since. I'm the granddaughter of Peter Pantages, who started the swim in 1920. Uh, when he first came to Vancouver uh, as a young man, he was determined to swim in honor of um, his home island, Andros in Greece, uh, at least once a day. Often he did it three times a day. My grandfather never owned a um, car, so he would walk here, whether it was from Main Street, um, down on Hastings Street where he worked at the Pantages Theatre or um, later the Peter Pan Cafe that he owned uh, on Granville Street. He would walk down, he would swim every day. The swim to him was a very important event uh, to help him create community for himself and his family. Vancouver's polar bear swim originated in 1920 when a lovable old man named Peter Pantages led 10 brave souls into English Bay. I used to love calling it the best non-event event Vancouver had because there was no expectations of everybody. People created their own tradition. They, uh, you'll see if you're down here on New Year's Day, so many families have done it for so many years with so many generations. I'll have uh, three generations swimming with me and maybe four generations of Pantages with me. <laughs> After my grandfather passed away, uh, my, grand, my uncle Basil Pantages uh, took over running the swim with the Parks Board and um, that was kind of the flamboyant era of the swim where more and more costumes came down, uh, people really taking upon themselves to make the swim their own and it's just grown ever since then. I think the generation factor has a lot to do with that too so you'll see a lot of families with two or three generations swimming. 